Good evening and thank you for staying up with us. A breaking news update tonight to a story we first brought you around 6 o'clock out of Elkview. We've now learned that a McDonald's employee is accused of stabbing and robbing a customer in the restaurant's bathroom late this afternoon. Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Klein was on scene and is just back from the suspect's arraignment. And Hannah, what can you tell us tonight? Well, the details quickly unfolding after that call came in from the Crossings Road McDonald's that someone had been robbed and stabbed in the store's bathroom. Well, here's a look at that suspect, 31-year-old Richard Thornton. Tonight, he's facing malicious wounding and first-degree robbery charges. Now, I spoke to a few people who live in Elkview today who are pretty shaken up that this would happen at a restaurant they go to often. Do you work anywhere? I work at McDonald's. Richard Thornton coming in at Kanawha County Magistrate Court this evening accused of a bizarre attack on a customer at the Elkview McDonald's. Been charged with malicious wounding and first degree robbery. Kanawha County deputies said Thornton, who's from Elkview, followed a 56 year old man into the restroom before robbing him of his wallet and cutting the victim's face and stabbing him in the neck. I hope like they find precaution, precautionary measures and Hopefully they can find a way so it won't happen again. Joey Frame, who grew up in Elkview, says news of what happened comes at a shock. It doesn't seem like it would be a bad place to go, and I wouldn't expect anything like a robbery or anything like that, especially from here. Deputies said Thornton ran from the scene but was caught at the nearby Speedway. They say he still had the man's wallet and the bloody knife. It seems a little scary, especially since they did get robbed, but I mean, I feel like it was just like a one-time thing, hopefully. The man who was stabbed was taken to CAMC General with serious injuries to his face and stab wounds to the neck. As for Thornton, he's going to jail as detectives work to learn more about what happened and why. Now, the Elkview McDonald's sent us a statement regarding this issue, saying the safety and well-being of our customers and employees is always a top priority for my organization. We have no tolerance for violence of any kind, and we're appalled by the situation that took place at a restaurant. We took swift action, and I can confirm this individual is no longer employed by my organization. We are fully cooperating with the Kanawha County Sheriff's Office in their investigation. Now, Thornton will be back in court for a preliminary hearing on the 26th. He is being held at South Central on a $100,000 cash bond. Reporting live in the studio, Hannah Klein, Eyewitness News.